welcome to UML Fan Chris Romero News. Here is your top stories for today, as always. Apparently, some people want my thoughts on Nickelodeon's 90s kids on Pluto TV. All I'm gonna say is, I don't really know that much about the 90s kids on Pluto TV. All I'm gonna say is, I know that was a recent channel that did launch back in October. But my question to you is, do you prefer Nickelodeon 90s kids on Pluto TV? Or do you still want Nick Rewind back? Let me know down below. I don't know if the comment section is going to be happy, but Taylor Swift has appeared on Nickelodeon during the Nickmas game. So during the broadcasting of the Nickmas game, Nickelodeon went all in with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. And then sometime later on in the game, they had something called the story of us reading the Kansas City Chiefs record with Taylor Swift, five wins and two losses. The Chiefs records without Taylor Swift, Four wins and three losses. Meanwhile, at the end of the Nick Miss game, they lost to the Raiders. End of story, period. But in some parts of the game, there was the snowballs that appeared to have a sign reading, Go Taylor's Boyfriend. In another angle, they showed this as well. While we're talking about the Nick Miss game, I have something to point out. This was one of my favorite things. So the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs was taken away from this Nickelodeon blimp. And I was laughing. They also did this last year, but except they wasn't a head coach this time. It was a football player from the Los Angeles Rams. If you also do pay attention to the blimp, look very closely. Does everyone see these two designs, right? That is the design from the 2021 Kids' Choice Awards. Except it's just a holiday remaster of the blimp. But you see the difference? And let me tell you something. They have done something like this before. And then during the first ever broadcasting of the wild card on Nickelodeon, they used it the 2019 Kids' Choice Awards blimp. And at one point during a flag, one of the Chicago Bears players said this on Nickelodeon. What the... Okay, enough with the jokes. But let me know down below. Did you watch Enigmas game? And did you enjoy... The fun that Nickelodeon did. And comment down below what was your favorite part of the Nickmas game this year. And finally, credit to the user KBA for tagging me in this photo. So this is the SpongeBob SquarePants Season 13 DVD. And it features everybody's favorite logo, the Splat. Here's a little fun fact you should know about me. I used to own this DVD from Nickelodeon called Out of the Vault Rewind. It had Our Real Monsters, The Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, The Wild Thornberries. And Danny Phantom. And at that time, the back of the cover had the 2017 rebrand of Nickelodeon. Speaking of SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants is getting a season 15. And it will also mark 25 years next year. Let me know down below if you're happy that SpongeBob SquarePants got renewed for season 15. Well, guys, that's a wrap of this video. Thank y'all so much for time watching this video. Let me know what you thought of the Nick Miss game down below. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, my friends, and go Riverhawks. Hashtag the splat is back. What the?